How's it going? Let's talk some sports. We've got uh, we've got the kid over here. We're hanging out. Go subscribe to Baby Spread. He wants to plug his own channel. Uh, it's almost bedtime, but I figured before that we would talk about all the games today and talk about college basketball and about hockey. Let's start with college basketball. So we had Tanya out here today. Tanya's brand new. She was taking notes. She's like, what, what do we do here? We have so many different games to go through. So a lot of things I use is this underdog slicer. And we have overall, I think there's 96 games in here. Some of them are still going on. So I'm removing the games that are still going on, just looking at the ones that finished. Apparently, we had 19 underdogs. And we went 13 and 6 and 15 and 4 on the spread with these underdogs. Is this right when I sent out the file? Apparently so. Uh, I bet some of these, but I didn't really realize we had so many underdogs. Also, look at this. Five underdogs winning in a row on the spread and on the money line. And then, what is this? Nine out of ten on the spread? Here, here's the other thing. If you sort this by spread cover, like Tanya would tell you to do, to send me, look at this. I mean, this, this was our predictions. I don't think anything's changed since then. Nine in a row. Do you understand how much money this is? If you've thrown eight of these in a round robin, they're all underdogs, and they all won on the money. I mean, did this really happen? I wonder if anybody caught this on the email list, that these are the underdogs we had. I think, are there any underdogs for the late games? There's, there's four other ones. There are these teams right here that are still playing right now. Uh, or haven't played yet, but as for the ones that won, that's that's incredible. That's really, really, really good. Uh, as for other games where we had teams with big spreads, I think I fixed. I had Louisiana and Lafayette screwed up. Um, like Louisiana, Lafayette, and is Louisiana or Lafayette? It's complicated. So th th the names are all screwed up. But up top here, it wasn't very, very good on the spread with the top of the games at the margin here. What about our powerful teams? You know, our teams that are over 50% strength, like they talked about in the video yesterday. Those went 14 and 7 on the money line, but only 10 and 11 against the spread. And some of them have negative spread margins down here, but it generally didn't really help. So, um, I mean, you got this big one here Oregon covering against Cal. I know West Virginia covered. Uh, yep, West Virginia covered here. So we talked about that one. But Clemson did not. Uh, Tennessee flat out lost to Auburn. Um, we knew Minnesota's health was hurting here, so that kind of makes sense. Florida State, similar situation against North Carolina. But uh, as for the underdogs, I mean, like Florida won against Kentucky, and, and those things actually happened. So not a bad day, college basketball. I don't think tomorrow's game's in here yet. It's just too early yet. But it looks like it, it worked out well with the underdogs. How about hockey? A lot of games still going on. Um, first of all, what? who was it? It was Elena, right? It's Elena. Is that her name? I think it is. Elena, who's officially 3-0. and um, Elena said that she was going to take Tampa Bay minus like 1.5 or 2.5. That's what she said. And she's crushing it. She just, she just keeps winning. Um, so, she, yeah, she's partied. She's happy because look at what's going on in this game with Tampa Bay. They're up 5 nothing right now in the third period. It's been nothing but Tampa Bay, and it's right along with the algorithm. She also said Edmonton would have been, would have been another one of her picks, um, but she, she knew Tampa Bay was better. Edmonton's down 3 nothing and hasn't shown up tonight because uh, Toronto's a better team. See how much weaker these teams are? See how much weaker Dallas is at 37%? as opposed to this 55 with Toronto. So as we look toward the 10 o'clock games, which have not happened yet, first of all, I see that, you know, Vegas covering the goal line, minus one and a half, in a, a low scoring game, like a four nothing, four to one game, that, that's what's ex expecting here for Vegas. And then a high scoring game in this Winnipeg-Montreal game, we like the underdog in Winnipeg, we think they're a very powerful team with Hellebuck, so we like the underdog, we like the over, and then we like St. Louis a lot because I mean, San Jose is the weakest team on here with Devin Dubnik starting. If you look at all the teams, nobody's below 21%. I mean, Buffalo was at 21. Look at what happened to them. Philly walked all over them 3-0. We knew that was coming, too. So Ottawa did not cover. They scored some goals, but Calgary just woke up and made it a very strong offensive game to begin with. 
Washington did what they were supposed to. Columbus does not beat Nashville. This this was weird, and they just couldn't put up the offense. But uh, we'll look toward 10 o'clock games. I don't have any tomorrow games in here. Also, I, th I think there's an under coming in this Colorado-Arizona game, too. It's just started. But these teams had issues scoring last night with terrible goalies. These goalies are the better goalies. Rantos in there for Arizona tonight. That's interesting. And then uh, Groovy will probably pay better because they just came off a win last night without him, right, with the other goalie, with the misc, I think. Anyway, all right, lots of games. Uh, we'll be back for a video on Sunday. And um, go Vegas. This, this is my – I mean, if you were – you get, there are some parlays you can do in these late games. Vegas to win or minus one and a half. Winnipeg and or the over here. I like the under in this Vegas game, by the way, if it's under five and a half. And then St. Louis to win, and maybe even St. Louis minus one and a half, and maybe the under actually here because both these teams are actually having trouble scoring lately. So I'm tempted to go more with the under than something like St. Louis minus one and a half because St. Louis is having trouble scoring. So I do think they win, but I think it's it could be like a two to one game even. All right, good luck everybody. Mail your picks. Be winning.